The Canterville Ghost I'm pleased you want to buy Canterville Chase, but there is something you should know. Yes, there's this ghost. Ghost? I'll tell you what happened to my great aunt. Don't leave me alone! Ah! Get your clammy hands off me! Calm down, there is nobody here. <laughs> it had its bony hands on me. My great aunt was so frightened, she never recovered from the shock. And you want me to believe this? Lady Canterville often didn't sleep at night due to the mysterious noises around. So you're saying? We haven't lived here ourselves. It feels eerie. I will take Canterville Chase with the ghost. You have been warned. We are modern people. We do what we want. What is your point? My dear Lord, we would buy the ghost and place it in the museum. Maybe even have a ghost show. But the ghost has been around for three centuries and it always makes its appearance before the death of a family member. So does the family doctor. Canterville Chase is yours. Has something been spilt there? Yes, madam, it's blood. I want it removed at once. It is the blood of Lady Canterville who was murdered on that spot by her own husband. Nine years later, he mysteriously disappeared. But his guilty spirit still haunts the chase. Nonsense! I'll remove the stain. There! I have seen things with my own eyes, sir, and many nights I have not slept due to the awful things that happened here. There is nothing to fear. Look, the bloodstain is back. Washington has been rubbing it out every day, but it comes back. Let's camp out here tonight and wait for him. What on earth is that sound? I'm not imagining things. Sir, you cannot go creaking about. I insist that you oil your chains. I will leave this bottle of oil for you. How oh, dare he laugh at me! Ooh. Got, Got you. you! I will have my vengeance. Do they know who I am? The gall to ask me to grease my own chains and those twins to throw a pillow at my head. Revenge! Ooh.